Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your favorite cow. Welcome back to Collab Cow. This is a series where I invite collaborators of mine to discuss their art, their lives, and their fiery opinions. And today, I'm going to show you an interview I had with Ham Link. He's one of the best anime-inspired graphic design artists on Instagram and probably the whole entire internet. I've known this man for years, so it's been amazing seeing his rise recently. That being said, he was gracious enough to fit me into his very busy schedule. So without further ado, let's check out my interview with him. So you recently paneled at Anime NYC. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Well, can you describe what kind of prep went into preparing for that day? I think the first thing I had to do was... Well, first, I had to have all my art made. Um, the next step is figuring out my display, right? Uh, I, I went pretty basic. I could show you a picture of my display if you want. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. We can just, I can, I can show it on screen right now. Like, will be put on screen right now. One of the biggest things this time around conventioning was actually making a huge banner. I've had people come or like professional people come up to me and say like, oh, all you have is like your regular art. You should, you should, you know, put your name out there more. So I made a huge, long, like five foot banner uh, with my name at the very top. And one of my art pieces, that's like a tiger with a pipe and like smoke billowing out of it. And I think that's like one of the more recognizable parts of my display. Do you think the pandemic, the Rona, has affected the conventions at all? Like in compar comparing to like past years? Oh, yeah, it's absolutely affected it. Um, in what ways would you say? Well, bad first, because all the conventions for 2020, of course, you know, got canceled and everybody who was like hoping to, you know, a lot of artists make money at conventions. So, you know, it cut off a lot of um, pretty much like financial like stability for a lot of artists. Definitely something I noticed for this year is uh, post Corona, everybody wants to go out. Everybody wants, you know, like do everything that they didn't get to do in 2020, 2020. Mm -hmm. So for this anime NYC, I think it was the biggest ever. Actually, it was so crowded. Everyone really? I talked wow. to was like, yeah, artists are eating good. That's all I have to say. Artists <laughs> are eating good. That's all that matters. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> everybody was like, this is my best. This is my best convention of the, of the year, you know? And I think you could see it like even outside of art. Like everybody's trying to go to concerts. Every All the concerts are like jam packed, you know? The thing that's changed is everybody's trying to live it up. Everyone's trying to make the most out of it and, um, you know, go to all the conventions that they can. Yeah. I think also we're, we're blessed because we're based in New York. From what I can tell, it's like there's a concert or there's a events almost every single day. Every borough is popping now every weekend. Honestly, I can't say because all I <laughs> outside of conventions, the two times a year that I go outside every other every other day, I'm just stuck in here in my basement <laughs> just drawing. <laughs> so honestly, outside of art, I can't really tell you how it is, though. But hearing how there's like popping off and like all the concerts and in, in every borough, you know, like I'm like, OK. Hell yeah, let's go. Just got to keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, we're in the lab. Let's go. We're in the lab cooking it up, okay? It's marinating. It's marinating. Oh, wait, wait. I got something funny. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Marinating. We're oh marinating. My God. Huh? Hey. We're marinating. You're the pig. I'm the cow. Match made in heaven. Also, just to, let's just get... I want to interrupt for one second. The whole reason I have... The whole cow thing is because you placed a tiny cow in the middle of my logo. You, you you gave me my brand, so I appreciate you. I didn't even know that's the backstory for your whole brand, actually. <laughs> it oh was. You didn't know? You're the one that did it. I, I don't even remember if you... Did you ask for a cow when I was designing no, your logo? No, no. Uh, I'm glad I could be an inspiration or like, you know, like inspiration for your whole brand. Contributing to history. But, but man, like circling back to what you said, you mentioned some of the more established artists kind of gave you some constructive advice. What would you say is something an up and coming artist can do to set themselves apart? First thing I would say is in the words of the great Shia LaBeouf, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Basically. Just do it. A good mindset first not to have is don't look at other people as competitors and push everyone up in another vein. Um, try to create work, first of all, that you enjoy yourself. You know, like it's something that you want to create that you yourself, like, you know, you would support, you would, you know, back, you know, like I didn't arrive here from the from the get go. It was just like little tiny pieces that I picked up on the way it's like oh i like making the line work like this oh i like adding like a watercolor texture like this and it slowly like it slowly came together 
to the style that I have now, and hopefully, hopefully, be something that like people recognize. So, what would you? So, what would you say inspired you to to go that route of not being completely anime, but at the same time still a, um, anime inspired and otaku inspired? I I like I love anime. You know, I grew up with anime. Uh, maybe not as much as. When I was younger, nowadays everyone would tell me like, "So what anime you watch?" And they don't, they don't even know what I'm talking about because I'm, because I'm talking about like Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, uh, Gurren Lagann, you know, like except for One Piece. One Piece is really good. Hell yeah! Yeah, um, I think that's just One Piece fans. Like whenever I ask One Piece fans, like, "Also, what are you, what are you watching? What new shows do you want? One Piece? Oh, but anything else? One Piece? What, what else have you done? Hey, they have like a thousand episodes to watch now. You know, you, you, I know. what is that? Congratulations to One Piece. Congratulations. Uh, so I guess it's a mix of a bunch of things. A small part of it is because I I keep always get that why do you draw anime style like you know like, oh it's just cartoons oh it's just cartoons a little tiny bit of that actually gets to me like I wish I kind of hope to say that it didn't get to me but it it does like even when I was younger it did get to me you know like oh you do is just like you know um, cartoon style um, but that's just a tiny bit on the other side of it um, I really like concept art for games and like painterly style right. And it's a completely stark contrast towards anime style. So nowadays, I mix that in with like the anime style from way, way back, and now I've come with onto this style. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I just want to draw shit post stuff and just like draw like super ugly things. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like just just shit post and memes. Yeah, I I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Then how do you feel about the whole concept of right now with the state of social media? Everyone's trying to stay relevant. Everyone wants to try to be ahead of the curve, especially when they start getting a little bit of traction. So has there ever been a moment where you felt like you had to cater to your audience that you've established right now and kind of make pieces that you know will sell, as opposed to just kind of doing something that that you personally wanted to do? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I first blew up because of Fortnite. So after I did after that, I'm like, all right, I guess I have to draw Fortnite now. But I barely play Fortnite. As history shows, I barely drew any Fortnite, and I kind of tried to just draw stuff that I would enjoy. Just drawing like stuff from like Overwatch or like original artwork and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much anything that I liked at the time. I absolutely draw a lot of trendy things. Um, right now, it's Chainsaw Man, but I absolutely love Chainsaw Man too. Chainsaw Man is awesome. I think the one good thing about me is that the stuff that is trending, I I absolutely love that stuff too. So, so that th- no that shame. works out for me. No there's shame no at shame. all. There's no shame in being a normie, man. There's no there's no shame in it. You know, absolutely. You know, as long as you're doing the stuff that you love and enjoy, hell yeah. yeah. Join join the club. Welcome, Ham, <laughs> my dear friend. I believe it is time for the speed round. Yay! Everyone's favorite part. Question number one: Tablet or paper? Tablet. I'm not an artist, so correct. Question number two, crust on or crust off? Crust on. Correct. 100% correct. Eat your crust, children. Question number three, tea or coffee? Coffee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uncle Iroh. I'm sorry. Uncle Iroh is disappointed. Leaves from the Vine is playing right now. Question number four, favorite mythical creature? Dragon, off the top of my head. You're not wrong. It's a safe choice, but not wrong. Correct. TikTok or YouTube? YouTube. Correct. I'm not saying this because it's going to be uploaded on YouTube, but <laughs> question number six, and this is a very important one. If you were an avatar, what bender would you be? I think I would be Toph. Is that your default element? Like what element do you think you'd be? Uh, so I think I'd be default character. I'd be Toph. But like if it were to be an element, I'd probably would be like either water or air just because I usually just go with the flow, you know? So completely opposite. But character wise, I'd be like, if I could be, I, 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 I'd be Toph. Question number this many. Number seven. PC games or console games? PC games. Wrong. I'm sorry. I present you with the now. What? What? I would take. I would take. Oh, I can't even do it right. I think. <laughs> you, take, uh, you, you took an L from take oh, on taking an L. <laughs> Question number eight. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? No. Whoever says yes, I'm sorry. Boy, wrong. It's a good topping. I've actually never had it. <laughs> I've actually never. Oh had my it, god! So. Why not? Just do it. I don't know. My initial reaction is like, eh, but I, I feel like I wouldn't mind it actually if I tried it. We're gonna circle back to anime now. Question number mm-hmm. nine: Bleach, Naruto, or One Piece? I have a feeling I already know. Sorry, I gotta give it to One Piece. A thousand Hell episodes. Yeah. It's the only Hell one yeah. that's still running, so I gotta Hell give yeah. it to him. All right, and last but not least, question number ten: Who's your favorite farm animal? Yeah, of course. 
the man who drew it himself said it he's the one who did it all right thank you so much to ham the pig from the cow amazing amazing artist thank you so much for doing this you have the floor right now if there's anything you want to plug go ahead man hello i'm ham wing uh shout out to further republic for interviewing me here right now uh you could check out my artwork at uh instagram.com slash ham wing or any of my accounts on twitter social media right now I'm going to plug my original comic that is on Kickstarter right now, Monkey and Peach, issue two, illustrated by me, Hamwing, and written by my friend David Chun with the help of uh, Azroy. Uh, it's a fantasy adventure story. If you like anime, if you like comics, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, Hellboy, go check it out. We worked really hard on it, put our blood, sweat, and tears. Um, but yeah. All the links to it, everything that Ham just mentioned will be obviously in the description. So definitely check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.